This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Jack Threads. It's time once again to check port 995. 995? You'll find out in a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep it short. Yeah, this is our post CES kind of hangover C block, so <laughs> condensed. Darren needs a nap. All right, Patrick wrote you could just change your time to check port 110 line to time to check port 995. Top three over SSL. That's what I'm saying. Some yeah. SSL loving. Yeah, we like. So little... 995 is pop three. Yeah, there's there's a, I mean there's okay. your standard ports, but then there's like you know for the same protocol there's over SSL, and then there's like alternative ports. I forget what it is. I think it's like five five thirty five or five thirty four or something for basically twenty five doesn't work. Anyway, there's alternative ports. So you can do anything yeah. over any port you want. Did you know that? Really? Most, and I actually think there's an exception to that, and I can't remember what port it is you can't use. If there is, email me feedback at hack5.org. I need yeah. to do some research on that, because I don't quite um, understand all the ports. It's like ICMP ports. is over port 7. Mm. And, you know, anyway, it's just fun. Oh, poor Darren. <laughs> no, wait, no, because ICMP is IP, not T. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Christian wrote, what happened to Darren and Shannon? That's it. That's all he wrote. Yeah, we got a lot Thanks, of email Christian. because... Um, we were gone. We were. Well, when, when it was the holidays. So I was gone for 10 days. And during that time, I made, who was it, Jason or somebody do a segment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was actually supposed was. to cover the show while Shannon was gone. And I had to make a, um, a unfortunate family-related trek back to Virginia. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's difficult being back here. And... Um, over the years, you guys have been with us, and it has been awesome, so I can't thank you guys enough for the support. And I just uh, I want to say that after doing this show for like six and a half years and being on every single episode, coming back here and finding that Paul and Shannon and Colleen and Brian Brushwood and AD of Dulcore and Mubix and Dale Chase and just everybody that came out to keep this thing going is just the tremendous support that we received is just so heartwarming. And I wanted to thank everybody yeah. for that. Thank and you, everyone. I'm trying to get back on my game. And thank you for being with us. You're kicking ass, Darren. Thanks, Shannon. You are. Thank you. And you got friends all over the place, and you know that. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I traveled the country and met a lot of them. And, and you That's guys true. are a good group. You did. <laughs> you guys are a good group. If God, I had it my way, I'd still be on the road trip. meeting you, because you guys are some great people. Aww. So anyway. Aw, you touch my heart, man. Yeah. All right, guys, stay tuned because we'll be right back with this week's Technolist photo and the trivia after a really quick break. Only suckers pay full price, but if you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hey, wasting all your cash on them, listen up because you can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day. See, there's a new invite only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, surfing up skates, street, surfwear brands at prices that'll melt your brain. And there's usually a waiting list to join, but if you head over to jackthreads.com slash hack5, you're going to get an instant access to their killer hookups. So go on over now. Oh, and did we mention that it's free to join? That's right. Hit up jackthreads.com slash hack5, and you'll instantly start saving without even to leave your house. No fireball in the sky that burns like the lava in Metroid. It'll just be like, boom, savings right there where you are. time once again for the Technolist Photo of the Week. And this is a really cool one. Yeah? You're going to love this, okay? Get ready. So Greg wrote with this picture of this amazing Torcon 13 badge. He said, attached is the Torcon 13 badge given to each attendee at Torcon 13 in San Diego. What's cool about these badges is that they were designed by Michael Osman, one of our good friends, the creator of the Ubertooth One, which you can find in the hack shop. These badges function as a channel 1 through 13 spectrum analyzer, and once all the ports, all the points are soldered correctly, it becomes an Ubertooth 1. Anyway, I thought you guys would think it was very cool. Sorry I didn't see you guys there this year. Uh, and I am sorry we didn't sweet. go. Yeah, we have to get, well, one, we have to get Mike Osmond on the show. Yes. And, and two, um, I am so devastated that I had to miss Torcon this year. We had a wedding that conflicted. Not we had a wedding, but we both went yeah. to the same wedding that we were participants in as viewers. Anyway. Um, Which one was and that? That was Serafina's. 
Oh yeah, yeah. that's why. Okay. And so. uh, anyway, the that was that's the story. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I I hate missing that... Torcon. So it was <gasps> such a great con, and the Uber Tooth is such a cool project, and my cosmic is awesome. And... I want something new to solder. Well, guess what? We'll be at ShmooCon here in just a few weeks. So if you're gonna be in DC, come on by. Uh, Shannon will be at the Hack Five booth and uh, say hello. And uh, I hear Mike Osmond will be there, so you know, give him oh, a big will? lump. Yeah. Oh, we should have him on well, the show. I agree. <laughs> what about trivia? You know this, how I feel about that. All right. Last week's trivia question. Well, actually, it was two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. What backronym refers to the eight P eight P or eight P eight C or eight position eight contact connector that is often confused with the RJ forty five? And the answer is eight position eight conductor. This week's question is, announced at CES in 2007, this operating system codenamed Quattro featured centralized backup file sharing and media streaming for home networks. What's it called? I'll give you a hint. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah. Answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some swag. Maybe you'll win some from CES. Yeah, like that frog that sticks its tongue out. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I'm like beating a heart. Thanks, guys. Uh, follow Hack5 at hack5.org slash follow all the places where you can download the show and stalk us. Uh, and get your favorite Hack5 goodies. Where you can get those? Over at hakshop.com. We got the USB rubber ducky, Uber Tooth Ones, Ninja Stars, and all that good stuff. Yeah, we got firmware coming for the rubber duckies and all sorts of good Oh, it's stuff. the new firmware coming yeah, out soon? It's, it's got some big updates about it. It sounds pretty good. Good, 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 good. And Hack Tips every other Friday. Until next week. I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. And I had lots of caffeine. Trust your technologist. Just like punch the camera. If it decides it wants to, I don't know what the f it's doing. We recorded a show, but we went to CES and it was awesome. Adorkable. Aww. Okay. So, yeah, great. It just wanted to take its time. I have eyeshadow things that act like this. I don't. I don't know that I have eyeshadow. You sure? No, I'm pretty sure.